the instruments and support you need for your industry. PCWI Porosity Holiday Detectors. High voltage porosity holiday testing discussions on safety. This session is in regard to the high voltage detectors, pulse DC, DC direct current, constant current. If you have a pacemaker or a heart condition, then this sort of testing is not for you. It may well do no harm, but why take a chance? PCWI Proprietary Limited, this is safety information, is based on high voltage porosity testing, has been done using a common sense approach. You may have higher relevant standards in your area that you need to seek out and may have to follow. I know they say use gloves. In wet areas, I like dry feet as well. Wear your proper required attire. In addition to that, rubber gloves, even rubber boots in the wet if you want. I've never worn any rubber gloves myself, and yes, I have been zapped lots of times, mainly from being against the pipe I was testing, from the discharge of the static build-up in the pipe coating. A static charge can build up by high voltage testing some pipe coatings and remain for a while. The discharge of the static is not harmful but it may bite all the same. Not all coatings do this, generally happens in drier atmospheric conditions. Some of the units available are bulky and large, especially with the brush attached to the end of the wand. Be aware of the people around you, switch the unit off between locations and before moving about. It would be a good to have a buddy to help. Inside confined spaces, the earth should never be removed from the substrate while the detector remains switched on, as you may become the earth and get zapped. Safety during high voltage testing depends on what and where you're testing. If you're in a laboratory test situation, you need a good earthing, both detector and the substrate, and then use rubber gloves as required. A 240 volt power outlet or any power outlet is not a good earth point and may damage other equipment attached in other areas. A high voltage detector with a large wand probe on the surface or in the air is hunting for a close earth point. Make sure that everything is well earthed. Careful where you point it or you may become its closest earth point. Earthing is a critical factor. Earth both detector to the substrate and the substrate to ground. A metre long extension may save some bad backs. This should have been the probe used to cut test time by 150%. A little fan brush is not going to cover that area very well. Make sure you've switched off the detector when moving from one area to another as moving about the confined spaces can be difficult. Leads can become trip factors. Well, what can I say here? Some guys fooling around with some high voltage. Luckily, nobody got hurt by running into something. High voltage detectors can be dangerous in the wrong hands. With high voltage process testing, the shock caused by the spark in itself is not harmful, other than the fact that you got zapped. Always work off a suitable platform. Switch the detector off when moving from one area to another. Be aware of people around you. Well, this is early days, 1989. Don't fall off the ladder or lean back too far. Always work off a suitable platform. Switch the detector off when moving from one area to another. Be aware of other people around you. No one needs coating failure or corroded pitted steel or leaking ruptured pipelines. Environmentally today it's a different world. Maybe it's time to do a little rethink on some of this high voltage porosity testing. PCWI proprietary limiter manufactures porosity holiday detectors, probes, flat brushes, rolling brushes, special requirements made to order. Coils, high voltage leads, earth leads, probe extensions, adapters to suit all brands. Contact sales at pcwi.com.au.